Well, hello and welcome back. Uh, thank you for tuning in with us today as we get ready for our devotional this morning. I need to preface it with a couple of statements. One is uh, if you think we're going over the same verse some days, uh, you may be right because there are some of these verses that there's just really too much to cover in one session. And so I would like to be a little bit more uh, explicit and to delve into it a little deeper. And so we'll cover different aspects of a verse sometimes on multiple days. And today's one of those days. Um, we're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter 1 and verses 1 and 2 again. Uh, follow along as I read. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, <clears throat> king of Israel, for gaining wisdom. Now the reason I wanted to go over that again is because we looked at wisdom yesterday and that that's the purpose behind the book of Proverbs. But many times I think when I look at Scripture that the whole point and purpose of Scripture is just to help us to lead a moral life. And certainly while God wants us to lead a moral life, He also wants us to be wise. Uh, the main word for Hebrew used here for wisdom is the word hakma. And it includes being moral, but it goes way beyond that. It means making the right choice even when there's no clear-cut moral laws telling you explicitly what to do. Let me give you an example. You know, some decisions in life only require that we have knowledge, like what medicine to take and how much of it to take and when. Uh, there's other decisions that require that we just comply to the rules that are given, like whether to commit adultery or not. But there's no Bible verse in Scripture that's going to tell you who you should marry, uh, which career path you should choose, which job to take, whether to move or to stay put. Yet, in any of those decisions, uh, uh, choices, a wrong decision could uh, bring about pain or even disastrous results in your life. There's also no moral explicit laws against some character flaws that we sometimes have, like abrasiveness, uh, impulsiveness. Uh, or I'll raise my hand, disorganization. <clears throat> but those two can damage your life. So if God had given us like a hundred volume set of rules for every situation, uh, first of all, we would have just relied on a book for our due diligence. And uh, there's no way we could have remembered all of that for every situation. God wants us to take principles and learn to be wise to make decisions based on those principles that he's given us. So as you reflect back on this opening verse in uh, Proverbs, let me ask you this question to think, or give you this question to think about during the day to reflect back on it. Have you ever seen a person or known a person in your life who was a good moral person but was also very unwise? And how did that affect their life? Think about that as you go throughout this day. Let's pray and we'll be finished. <clears throat> Lord, I pray that you will help us not to be smug about uh, our right beliefs. Uh, Father, we love to think we know the truth sometimes, but even when we do, we sometimes don't know how to use it. Uh, Father, please bring uh, into our life what is necessary for wisdom to grow, and then remind us that we received it from you. Thank you for everything you give us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you have a blessed day.